Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope uh, I hope your week's going all right so far. Bit of a warm one again. The heat wave in the UK has come back. It's pretty crazy. Hey Wayne, how are you doing? Yeah, Wayne, did you hear about this game? So this come out, what, three or four days ago? I think I gave it a quick go on the weekends. It's actually really good. This, this is a complete fan remake of uh, Sonic Triple Trouble, which was on a Game Gear, Sega Game Gear. I think it was from like 94. It's crazy. But yeah, a fan completely remade this. So uh, I'm gonna hopefully play through the entire thing. See how it goes. Hey Chris, how you doing? How's your week been? There was an update actually just today, so I've managed to get that. Let's just double check. Yeah, so from what I understand... Oh, there is actually a... You can play it widescreen. I did not know that. I'm glad I checked that. That's really cool. Hey, Lance. I thought this was going to be a 4x3. Uh, Lance... Uh, no, not to my knowledge. Maybe uh, after the strain. Anyway, uh, yeah, so from what I understand, there's there's a few changes that have been made uh, from the original game. Like the special stages are different. Obviously, this has got like um, save states. Yeah, that could like relate to multiple pictures, Lance. <laughs> Oh, and you can play as Tails. I think you can swap between them. Let's get some sound going. You're nearing the end of Ori. I hope you enjoyed it, Chris. One day I will go and get back and play it. Yeah, send it over, Lance. I'll, I'll have a look later.
I kind of like that. I'm really surprised. None of the other Sonic games sort of... From what i played of it so far, there are parts of levels that you need Tails. Need Tails to get to, so... It's a love-hate thing, but I like it overall. Yeah, yeah, put, put some thoughts on Discord. I'll, I'll definitely check them out. Yeah, see you later, Sonic. That's good news, Lance. Yeah, it already goes super sonic. Yeah, they uh, they just announced the third film release date. Coming, what was it, 20th of December 2024 now. It's kind of cool. Nothing wrong with Sonic Major, you take that back. Love a good Sonic. No taste. I mean, I, I really like what they've done with this, to be fair. It's, um... It's a really good remake, I would say. If you've played the 8-bit version, this is like... Yeah, uh, something Sega would do. Well, you would hope Sega would do. Especially if, you know, Sonic Mania and all that. Yeah, it looks good, don't it, Chris? This is what I mean, the fact that you can switch to Tails. To get other stuff. Honestly, Major, if, if, if you ever feel like it, download uh, Sonic Mania. It's such a good game. It really is. And I mean, from what i played to this one so far, it isn't literally all rushing through the stages. It, it is like exploring, stuff like that, which is always cool. for considered sins, really. Well, you, you forget that, in the UK at least, Sega were, were like, quite big. It wasn't so... Uh, in Norway, like you said previously, it was mainly Nintendo, right? Whereas it was very much Sega-focused for a long time. I would say they're gimmick games. So generally, a lot of them were decent. I think, uh, what was that? I still think Sonic 1 on the Game Gear was, like, one of the best. It was such a good game. And I always prefer that to, um, Sonic 1 anyway. Oh, 
that we got an extra life up there. I, I do think, though, some of the Sonic games get a bit of a bad rap. Because if you play the first level, like, for example, Green Hill Zone, you would assume the game is completely just speed through a level. Whereas a lot of the other levels, like Marble Zone, you can't do that. It's... I think it was more disappointing that the, uh, the game slowed down so much and become more of a, a platformer. But yeah, the original Sonic weren't all that. Sonic 2, jeez, that was a great game. Hey, Funnus. It's okay, a bit easy though. What, this game do you mean? I mean, I really don't care if it's know that difficult as long as it's fun to play through feel good with me whoops there was a remake of sonic chaos but i don't know if they ever completed that There's no pits, really. That's not a bad thing, though, surely, because a lot of the pits were just cheap deaths. One thing I used to hate on the old games, just... You're, like, legging it for a level, and the next thing, you accidentally fall in a pit. I think the world would have been a very different place if we didn't have Sega and Mega Drive, uh, sorry, Sega and Nintendo out at that time. I think the competition was good. Both systems have got some good games. Yeah, I, I mean, all of the Disney efforts were really good, like, what, World of Illusion? We played them all on the channel, really. Castle Illusion, World of Illusion, Crackshot. Love those ones. Um, Crackshot's awesome.
I was so disappointed a few years ago on Twitter. The company that did the uh, DuckTales uh, Duck, remake. They posted picture, uh, sort of screenshots on Twitter of a crack shot remake, and it looked, it honestly looked amazing. Until it turned out it was April Fools. Uh, I mean, what kind of sick joke is that? Why would you do that? And apparently it's because they they did try and remake the game, but uh, Disney or whoever weren't interested. Hey Koala, hope you're doing good. How's your wind going so far? Yeah, we, week's going all right, thanks. Got Fort Park to go to tomorrow, so it's an early start. But yeah, looking forward to it. Although I'm not looking forward to the heat tomorrow. It's apparently 30 degrees. 31 degrees. Walking around in a hot theme park in queues doesn't really fill me with uh, excitement. I remember one on the... What was Axe Warrior? I remember one called Axe Battler. You're hibernating so the heat goes away. I don't blame you, honestly. It's probably a good idea. You might be hibernating for a while. I'm liking it so far, to be fair. That's two. Koala, yeah. Uh, I hope so. Um, I'm, I am looking forward to it. It should be good. But thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it'll be a good day, I hope. Yeah, I, I remember getting Sonic 4. What was it? Episode 1 and Episode 2. Disappointment, right? I don't even know if I bothered with Episode 2.
But I'm assuming... Yeah, we have to hit that. The thing with this game as well, it was for the Game Gear. So, generally, the, I would say most of the Game Gear ones were a little easier. Well, excluding Sonic 2, that game was rock hard. Yeah, that was Sonic 2. Yeah. <laughs> it was really annoying. I just like chemical. Uh, chemicals, though. The hang glider was the least of its problems. I mean, it wasn't like a terrible game, but it was a bit disappointing, at least compared to Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive. Right, that game was good. Oh, we could get in the minecarts. I did actually get a KFC earlier for lunch. I got a uh, a wrap of the day, and I I had some free popcorn chicken. So. It was a pretty good day, yeah, to be fair. Yeah, Gamma Guide, like... It probably wasn't until a couple of years later that I discovered Sonic 2 was literally... What was it? Just the Master System version. They didn't do anything to optimise it. I mean, if anyone has played Sonic 2 on the Game Gear, you know the pain of the first level boss, right? How awkward that boss fight is. I think I spent about 80% of the game getting stuck on that boss. And I know it wasn't just me. It was ridiculously, like, difficult. You had these, like, things bouncing from the boss that you had to avoid. On the Master System, it's easy as anything. On the Game Gear, it's it's so difficult to avoid. But even the rest of the game wasn't like... Could have been better. I uh, yeah, can't be a good KFC. Okay, so we can't use that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, t I totally get it. The Mars System version. Of that game, definitely. But the original Sonic the Hedgehog, or the 8-bit version, I always preferred the Game Gear compared to Master System. There's a few bugs on the Mars System one. That just annoy me. Right, so we're trying to find the big rings here to... Uh, Get the Chaos Emeralds as well. Got no idea. They asked for a popcorn chicken in a restaurant. They came back with a plate of popcorn. But <laughs> chicken what? Oh dear, that's disappointing. That's got to be fake, right?
Puppy sending it back. You went to a retro gaming bar that had Sonic Chaos for Master System. Yeah, I... I used to have Sonic Chaos. This... This was probably the only mainline game I didn't have. Because they ended up releasing... What was it? Tower's Adventure, which I played a bit of. It's a bit, bit weird. And then you had Sonic Labyrinth, which I think was quite different. That was clever. Uh, if it makes you laugh, that's, that's the main thing, right, Chris? You know what? Why don't I just use tails? It was a nice idea, right? Yeah, it was Sonic Chaos. I remember a couple of years ago, there was uh, a team remaking that, but I played like the first level or two, but I don't think they've uh, continued it. We don't we don't have any bars down here like retro. Although they are apparently opening up a um an old school like arcade soon. Which uh, I'll be interested in. Zone. Awesome. I look forward to it. I still need to find a uh, Chaos Emerald, though.
Oh, was it A plus start? Ah, uh, fair enough. That's a shame because honestly, I thought I thought the demo was really good. I think I even did a video on the channel at one point on it, or some gameplay at least. But I, I honestly like with Sega the amount of times they brought like. Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3 out. You would think maybe they could remake the 8-bit ones themselves. But that'd be too hard. Like, instantly they've got a, a backlog of older games they could, you know, sell. Spikes didn't look too good. Oh, okay. No, that, that's completely different then. Because it was definitely for the PC. The one I played. Nice. Hey Straz, SFM, how you doing? I kind of like all these like mini games they've added as well. Don't think they were all in the original, were they? Ahead. Yeah. yeah, no worries, Gamma Guy. You take care, man. Interesting. Oh, there you go. You could have watched Sonic 2. Have you not watched it, Chris? It's quite good. Is it out yet? Yeah. Oh, gee, it came out months ago.
Did you ever watch the Bayonet movie, Major? I still haven't got round to watching that one. It's different. And it's quite a different type of movie. But overall, it's it's pretty decent, I would say, for what it is. It did a relatively good job. It's a bit odd. Don't get don't get me wrong. There's you'll you'll see what I talk uh, I'm talking about when you watch it. But Yeah, Funnus is pretty good. I'm I'm liking it so far. Just wish I could find another Chaos Emerald, that's all. I mean, I've always been generally a fan of the old Sonics, but the more, you know, 3D ones, not so much, so... I guess it's always good to, to get a new game like this. Well, new, old game. Oh, okay. I, I'm pretty sure we discussed on the, the Discord Major that it was out at one point, but because I remember posting, I watched it at home. Oh no, you haven't even watched Bayonetta. You're slacking. No, I haven't watched it either, so... I can't believe I lost... I had like 300 rings there. Lost them all. Then one day you discover, yeah, that you bought it. I get that. I, I've done that before. I, I think it's on Netflix. It might be on Netflix now. But... If it isn't, don't blame me. Uh, okay, so there is kind of like on a Sonic Mania, there is a level on a train. So I, I reckon maybe they got the idea from this game, especially as the baddie of this game is also in Sonic Mania. Interesting.
Hey Lemon, how you doing? Should day be? He says it's a one-off. You made some good progress today on a uh, Majora Mask. Well, that, that would make it not a weak lance. You picked up Dread. Hey, Ross. Yeah, Major, maybe that's a good idea, right? This used to be one of your favourite games. It was built in. Yeah, I, it's pretty good so far. This is a, a decent remake. But, say, you know, it always impresses me when the fans do better jobs than the, uh, uh, you know, company themselves. Hope you're doing okay. You made zero progress. Oh. Ah, well, next time, right? Been t I haven't made my mind up, but I ke it keeps running through my mind maybe to jump back into Breath of the Wild from the beginning, just off stream when I've got a bit of time just to play through it. But time is a little bit tricky to find at the minute, so we'll see. Yeah, but I don't want to rush through the story. And I mean... How do I know what is story and what isn't? Let's be honest.
Hey, doggy. This, this is not on the, the 3DS, is it? Or did they have, have the original on it? Does. I did not know I can get. That's pretty cool. I mean, I, I have to admit, from what I played of this, they've done a real nice job. I'd, I'd kind of be intrigued to see what the Game Gear version is like in comparison, really. Yeah, I think it looks all right. Oh, okay. We we do need to go through the uh, pipe. adventure yeah is it really i always from what i played of it i always got the impression it was more of a a platformer just a a slower platformer game but a metroidvania interesting well that was ridiculous i think i can use an extra life yeah we can use an extra life cool Good job, I got quite a lot of lives. Who are you talking about, uh, Lance? Keep running out of rings here. quite tricky. This is like the third Chaos Emerald.
Okay, so we got 18. Thanks for that hit anything. That's better. We might actually have a chance. Just made that. I was more of a fan of Mega Man. I I only started playing Mega Man last year. Hey Tony, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, no, I I had never really played Mega Man until last year. I don't get me wrong. They're good games, I see the appeal. But I definitely wouldn't say they're my favourites or anything. Maybe if I'd grown up with them, maybe it would have been a different story, but. Oh, fair play. You're doing good though, yeah? You got knee to your, your ribs. That sounds painful, man. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. I, I'm glad I was just working in an office, to be fair. Sounds less... less painful. couple of bits back here. Uh, you're all good. Wait until tomorrow for my models to be picked up. £300 and be able to donate money to them hungry kids. Models, sorry. What would you mean by that? Lance, I don't think so. Martial arts has never really been my uh, forte. I think I tried to do karate once in my life, and yeah. Uh, yeah, it wasn't for me. <laughs> A Warhammer. Cool, cool. I, uh, I tell you what, I... I've been uh, feed, 3D printing D&D &D figures. I've got them on the go at the minute. I've only recently got a, a new 3D printer. And uh, one of my friends is... Uh, well, he's given me a load of figures to print. So, uh, kind of having fun with that. Still learning quite a bit as well about 3D printing. Hey Eric, stay printing. You know what, I, I got some resin and uh, they sent me pink resin. I was like, pink, uh, whatever, it's cheap. So I printed off a, uh, a Kirby, except its arm is missing. I don't know what happens with the print. <laughs> the Kirby, it looks great, but it's missing an arm. Is armless. I 
I wish I'd bought a 3D printer instead. Oh, I get, yeah, yeah, guys, one tick, one tick. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, look at that. It come out really well. It legit feels like uh, something you would buy from a shop, but its arm is kind of... Can you see that? But uh, we played Prey on the channel, uh, the cat game, a few weeks ago, and I found this. I don't know if you can see that, but I love it. So I want to try and paint that at some point. It's the little drone uh, B12. It come out really well. But yeah, I haven't really printed too much else. It's a lot of hassle. It's very messy. But I need to get the paints down from the attic and maybe spend a bit of time. That was clever. Maybe uh, get back into trying to paint them. How you doing, Eric? Don't you dare leave me. Amazing. That's the plan, Eric. I I'll stay printing. I've got I, yeah, I've got two of them now. I've got the the plastic PLA and now a resin, so it takes up a bit of space, maybe more space than I wanted. We still need chaos, chaos emeralds as well. Kind of crazy to think though with 3D printers, the fact that you can build your own stuff at home, like print toys and figures and models and. I look forward to the future when it's a lot quicker and you can print in colour. That'll be amazing. You're getting lost in redesigning your building and de facto. Back to zero. It's not a bad thing, is it? Unless you got more important things to be getting on with, anyway. printing their own apparently these days major
one thing I really like about the game that you have to switch between characters to do, like, make progress. Maybe, maybe a new Sonic could do that. Brawl Trader. Avoid the outpost is... Right, okay. I'll have a look. I, I was thinking maybe, you know, I could make a bit of money printing models for people, but I don't know if it's worth it. There's probably other similar services out there that do it could do it easier and better and cheaper, I don't know, but Yes, right, come on. Alright, bear with me a sec. Oh man, really? you don't get oh really still had 20 coins you'd love to buy some pre-made space lizards should look that up do it tony i'm sorry to hear that yeah some people are like that just don't don't get them anymore from from them hey reach is this to celebrate sonic 3 well it to be fair, not really. I was going to stream it anyway. It just so happens to come out on the day they announced Sonic 3, so... I downloaded it, what, on the weekend when it came out? I played it for a bit and thought I'll fit that on a Tuesday stream and didn't have anything else to play, so here we are. Come on. Hope you're doing okay, Rich. It's kind of funny. They, these courses are more challenging than the, the actual main game, I think. That one is really difficult. Basically, if you hit one of those things, you instantly fall in the pit. Hey, Dan, it's a remake. Yeah, fan remake. I need Eth. I was going to tell you about it when we spoke the other day. I completely forgot. It's really good. 
I think they've done a great job. This is just the uh, the Chaos Emerald stage. Which I'm doing really badly at currently. It does have saves, so I guess I could die and <laughs> retry, but we'll see how we go. Oh, we've still got loads of lives. You're done studying the reach. I might, I am psychic, apparently, yeah. I knew it was... I clearly knew the third movie was going to get announced today. Yeah, I, th I think you deserved a, a massage, right, after that. What'd you have for dinner? I made a really, really dirty fry up. It was lovely. Eggs, sausage. Beans uh, and chips. Thank you, Major. I realise that. Helpful as always. Taste difference court pounders with brioche buns. Oh man, that sounds awesome. I pretty much had the same thing for dinner yesterday. Uh, burgers and brioche buns. Vine smart is some of that other salted caramel milk. Yeah, I'd seen that in there. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, clearly, clearly Major's tips helped me out there. I would have been stuck forever on that. I've never gone to Five Guys. Is it? Is it worth it? I don't think we've got one around here. And when you can make nice burgers at home anyway, right? Why go and spend like 20, 30 quid? survive that, I don't know. Come on, 
come with rings. I need rings. Oh, you got a Chinese, Dan? Oh, salt and pepper ribs, chicken noodles, chili chips. Sounds good. Milkshake ingredients are a good choice as well, right, Tony? Yeah. Oh, I love Chinese. It is amazing. Got that lightning strike. Would have slowed him down. Oh, come on. Rage, I, I've been getting um, a block of cheese lately and having like cheese on toast when I, I need to snack. I'm trying to, trying to stop snacking, but cheese on toast is so good. Love it. So that went pretty well, but I probably should have got more lightning strike. There's a bit of strategy to this, isn't there? Cheese on toast. I'm not like saying it every time you want a snack, but like maybe once every so often, it can't do you much harm, right? Or go for a long walk. That's what I'd be trying to do. Get get out a bit more and go for a walk. Burn it off. Oh, come on. This is going to be a total failure. We've got quite a lot of the lightnings, but gonna be close. We 
might just do this. Yes! We need, what, one... I think it's six. I think we need six. And we need more lives. I've only got one left. You got an air fryer. I love my deep fat fryer. I don't... I, my heart probably doesn't like it. But... You put some fresh oil in, it's awesome. You've named your your air fryer. What's its name? I've tried an air fryer before. I was quite impartial to it, if I'm being completely honest, but. It was, it was good. Maybe I didn't use it enough. Nasty snake. Got your granddad's war medal coming in post soon. What you can do with it? Just stick it on the mantelpiece or something. what you've named it. From, from there, obviously I wear it in right... Oh, okay. Okay. That's cool.
Well, you know what? I, I was thinking... <laughs> oh, you can continue. That's fine. I might as well get my lives back at least. Yeah, three lives. That's my excuse. Avoid the spikes. I oh, know, I can't believe I died. Shocking. I'm a pro gamer. I should be able to deal with this. Don't lose the rings. Thank you, Marish. You're as useful as Major is. Full of tips. Usually hug the spikes. What to make him feel less threatening? Or you can use one of the analog sticks to move. That's really useful. Thank you, Eric. Had, I would have never got that far, this far, without knowing that. What? Come on, we need to find a ring. <sighs> One ring, and hopefully get the last Chaos Emerald. What? Yeah, I, I know that. I don't really think the special stages uh, or the bonus stages are that. I mean, you get extra lives, I guess. If you're good at it. But I'm trying to find the, uh, the Chaos Emerald rooms. I think I just need to find one more.
You can fly, Tails. Come on. Oh, cool. Hey, it's a seal. Yes. Right, come on, come on. Let's do this. Not a great start. <laughs> We got, what was that, three lives to do this in. The thing is, I, I want to try and complete the game with all emeralds, so if we have to redo the level up to this point, so be it. But Actually, that was really easy compared to the others. So you at the uh, Atomic Destroyer. Cool. Okay, so we've got all, all Chaos Emeralds. Here's Eric. G. Oh, I don't need to go in it, do I? So, it's blanked it out.
I was thinking Thursday, so would people be up for a Tetris stream? Only because I want to do something multiplayer Thursday. And um, I was thinking, you know what, the other day, I haven't played Tetris for a while. Would anyone be up for that? Uh, I would definitely going to be doing another Mario Kart, but I'd probably leave that for another week or so. Oh, really, Ross? Yeah, yeah. Well, what we usually do is um, get multiplayer on the go. If we don't really have enough people to do multiplayer, then... I can always just play online. There's a secret level near the end of Act 2. What, a complete... complete level what? Of this act? Do you mean? Is it quite easy to find? Yeah, sorry, the next act. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I'm still on Act 1. My bad. You have to fall into a specific pit. I'm sure Earth uh, isn't that how you get to Hidden Palace Zone in uh, Sonic 2. Or the newer versions, at least, anyway. A reach, yeah, no worries. Take care, thank you for stopping by as always. It's appreciated. Yeah, take care. But apparently, if you fall into a, a specific pit on Act 2, you get to a secret level. Oh, wow.
on this axe. Yeah, I, I watched Prey on Saturday night. It was pretty good. What did you think, Lemon? Saturday night and then Sunday, one of my housemates stuck on The Crow. I haven't seen that for a while. Still quite a good movie, though. Bit, bit silly, but... But Prey was... It was good. Honestly, I think the length was pretty much perfect. At one point, I was kind of wishing it would get a bit more, like, action-y. But not every movie needs to be long. Hour and a half is... is not bad. Was I supposed to press right? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's one of those movies that does better on a home release than the uh, the actual cinema. So I'm really quite happy that, yeah, Sega didn't bother to release it theatrically. Hey, Zach, how you doing? Yeah, rip indeed. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting fed up of long, long movies anyway. So it's not like the end of the world. It's quite refreshing to have a movie lasting 90 minutes. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think so. Come on, extra lives. Yeah, baby. That's a good chunk of rings. Uh, okay, no, I think that was a glitch. <laughs> it must have been a glitch. Is that a pit? There was a purpose of falling there, by the way. I didn't just decide to kill myself.
Lemon, I think uh, the new Ford movie is out in a couple of weeks, so... So uh, I'm just going to wait for that to come out. I'm still waiting for Top Gun. I don't know when they're going to bring that out. I've already seen it, but... I would like to watch it again. It was pretty good. Just want some extra lives, just in case the end boss takes a, a few more goes than I expect. That was a fail. That's pit. Oh, I've missed the pit. Purple Palace. So it's kind of like a callback to Hidden Palace. Oh, right, it was in the original game, was it? I can kind of see why this one was quite well loved then for the Game Gear. It is a shame that I never did originally play it. What? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's different. The spring power up. Looks like we could just use tiles. Oh goody, a water level. That was quite a cool level, I guess. I mean, there is a lot of chances, isn't there, to get the uh, special stages? Chaos Emerald. Sorry. those things. So for anyone that has played the original Game Gear version, right, are the level layouts exactly the same? I'm guessing they've been kind of made a bit bigger on this game. That's the impression I get. Only because I don't really know how the Game Gear would cope with, with levels this big. I could be wrong. That's the impression I get, though. Sonic 
trying to nick all of the uh, air bubbles. Supposed to go down there. But do you know what time it is? What time is it? Should I ask? The levels are a third on, on, of the size on the Game Gear. Right, a lot smaller. A third, geez. That's a massive, massive difference. I was right next to a checkpoint as well. It's time to get a watch. Who needs a watch when you got a mobile phone? Oh, I, I had a red ball left over, Lance. Come on, Tails. We're dead. Surely. Close. The arrows are showing time to die, Mr. Bond. Not not today. Not today. You had the car service today, seven hundred pounds. They told you you can need new brakes. Another six fifty. Damn. That's expensive. That's less than what my car cost, and I thought that was expensive. I don't know if you heard me earlier, Major, but I said Thursday. Hopefully, the multiplayer stream, I might do Tetris, if anyone is up for it. Uh, instead of Mario Kart, we'll do maybe Mario Kart another time. Very varied, this game, right? Like, snowboarding, submarining. Oh, you're... Yeah. That's all right. You're playing with Mr. Cat. That is completely understandable. The cat needs the belly rubs. I get that. After your butt... Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Yo, we got a raid. Hey, Kane. Hey, Nathan. Where's Claire? I, I haven't been on Claire's streams for ages. Deontay, welcome.
I am so bad at raiding these days. Can we get a link back to uh, Lightning Farron's channel, please? Hey, Casey, welcome. Tedrick, Thomas, how are you all doing? I really appreciate you, Radiant. Thank you. How is uh, Claire's stream going? GC, welcome. Bow Wowser. Inu Yuga. Hey Claire, welcome. How you doing? It feels like it's been a while. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I was just saying, I'm really bad at raiding these days. Thank you so much. What were you playing anyway? Hey, Eslo, welcome. We're doing pretty good on this. We've got uh, all of the Chaos Emeralds. We found the secret stage. And we're just pretty much getting to the end of the game now. So I'm hoping not too much longer. It has been as low. Yeah. I hope you're all is well. Uh, PTB Ferox. You didn't know Claire streamed. Have you uh, been living under a rock, Lance? <laughs> Claire's been streaming for ages. Thomas, thank you for the subscribe. Appreciate it. How are you playing Hollow Knight? I know uh, we've got a couple of people in the chat that love that game. I'm like, I've tried Hollow Knight. I do like it. But I know it's going to be one of those games I am the proper rage at. So I've uh, kind of, I don't know, avoided streaming it. There's life. You've been busy, that's cool. Keep yourself busy. This place is a bit like a maze, really. Stramuck. You can't run. Now play. You can't run. Trying to find where I'm supposed yeah. to be going. Deontay, thank you for the sub. Sonic.exe, my mentor. It's a really good remake. I, I, I gotta agree. Well, I've gotta say, the uh, the creator of this has done a great job. So we got a switch there. Yeah, Major. Like, it does seem like a very good game, but I just know I'm going to struggle at it. Are we legit just going in circles here? We've got a switch up here we've activated. Uh, selective 2, welcome. Hollow Knight is nothing compared to Cuphead Rage. But Cuphead is doable because it's small parts. You know, although it's difficult. Thank you, Zachary. Appreciate it. Cuphead, yeah. You, you can do it in small chunks, basically, can't you? Yeah. Lately, I just prefer a bit of a, a chill game. 
not to stress me out too much. Right, we got a door there. You're actually very good at Cuphead, but Hollow Knight has been a struggle. Well, that's the thing. Cuphead's also got DLC out, right? But I'm like, do I do I want to get it just yet? Do, do I want to put myself through that agony? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I, I definitely want to play it. But I think I, I need a bit of time, you know. Yeah, but Hollow Knight, I think I would forget where I get to. Like, Metroidvanias are quite... You need to remember. Like, what the path is and stuff. Metal Sonic. They've really gone all out on this game, haven't they? Battletoads Rage. I... I don't know. No, I've, I don't think I've ever really got into Battletoads. Not the uh, NES game, anyway. <laughs> hey, Jack. Oh, you were selective too. No worries. Metal Sonic Boss, Act 3. Interesting. Trust him. Yeah, Claire, I honestly it's a pretty good game. It's quite long as well. Like I thought we would only take a couple of hours, we've just gone over that. It's basically a remake of Sonic Triple Trouble. I say remake, it it's very different to the Game Gear version. Like, a lot different. You can swap between Tails and Sonic at any time. The levels are quite changed from the... Uh, from the original game as well. There's special stages added. Best of all, it's completely free. It's not the most difficult of games, but it's been all right. It's been okay. Oh man, really? We're out of rings. I think we're good. Jack, no, I think it's more like a re complete remake. So they've added quite a lot of stuff. Uh, Multiverses, yeah, I've uh, played it a few times on the channel. It's one of the games that I go into rotation every so often for multiplayer.
was unlucky. Yeah, no worries, Claire. No worries. Hey, Waluigi. No, it's a remake. A complete remake, yeah. 8 to 16 bit. But they have changed quite a lot, to be fair. I mean, it's, it's probably... Uh, it's really the only Sonic game, the 8-bit, I never played. So it's kind of new to me. Hope you're doing okay, Waluigi. Yeah, no worries, Eric. That's all right, man. You, st you got a job. Nice one. Life is good. Awesome. Jack, I, d I did play, uh, there was a game someone had made where you could make your own Mario Maker levels, uh, sorry, Mario levels. I did play it a few times. It might be the same thing, I don't know. Interesting, working together, eh? What are they, what are they supposed to be? I can't take it seriously. Later, Eric. I don't know if uh, Metal Sonic was in the original Game Gear game. 
I always just assumed it was Sonic CD, to be fair. So it's kind of a bit of a surprise. It was in the 8-bit game. That's interesting. Never knew that. I I always thought it was just Sonic CD. It was in Pocket Adventure. Was that Neo Geo one? I think I owned that at one point. Oh man, come on. He was, it was Neo Geo. I think that was the only Neo Geo game I got. <laughs> just, just for the Sonic game. But, if I remember correctly, I thought it was literally um, stages from the original Sonic games. Maybe they were different layouts, I can't remember. Hey, Mr. Nice Guy, I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Hope all is good. Really dislike those beams. I don't want any of those. I guess it was bound to happen eventually. There's, there's one little issue I find with this sometimes, is tails will start flying when really you just want to be able to jump. I have died a few times like that.
that's how you kill them. I guess we need to do one, two, and three to, to get to the final boss. Reminds me a bit of Sonic Mania. A bit like that, anyway. Welcome back. Super Meat Boy, uh, mo uh, Meat Boy. Okay, right, what was that? That was number one. So we need number two. That's cool. Hey, Wario Multi Retro, thank you for the uh, sub. Enjoy the uh, stream. Quite nerve wracking because we've only got one life left. I really hope we come across some more lives soon, otherwise, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I, quite clearly, there's a lot of inspiration from from a lot of the Zelda games. Uh, Zelda, a lot of inspiration from other Sonics.
close. That was embarrassing. Okay, well, so we know pretty much the layout of number two. Noza. Welcome. I can't pronounce that right. You want me to uh, start str uh, screaming and stuff? <laughs> I I try to. Well, it's, look, we're on the last level of the game. I am trying to keep focus here. I really, really do not want to have to redo this multiple times. I am human though, I can tell you that. We need seven Chaos Emeralds. Uh, we've, I, I'm pretty sure we've got all the Chaos Emeralds. I've unlocked all of them. We've done the special stage. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything done, except for these final levels. Yeah, exactly. It's like, gets to a point where it's like, eh, just act yourself. Let's be honest, mo most streamers that uh, put on a big personality are putting it on in the first place. There's only so long you can do that. You've had to continue twice. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get that, I get that. I love the fact you can't go upside down, though. That's a really cool touch. Yeah, well, I, well, I'm hoping this is the final level, because, I mean, it's gone on for quite a while now. I mean, we're trying to do this f three different areas. My mind has gone blank. Yeah, we want to do two. Two next. The upside down mode is from Sonic and Knuckles. I think probably that game is the one I've least played out of the big mainline games. There's I. Like, uh. Sonic 1 and 2, definitely. Sonic 3. I did play that quite a bit. Sonic and Knuckles. Maybe not as much as, as the others, definitely. I was all more for the uh, the 8-bit Sonics, really. Yeah, 
they were they were good. Die there, right? Okay, so we got number one and two down. Metal Sonic, we've already done that. Metal Sonic's been and gone. I thought I was totally going to die there, Claire, if I'm being honest. Multiple times. Come on. Get a ring, get a ring. This does not look good. The fact there's no checkpoint either throughout the level. I'm not gonna lie this level is pretty tough like the rest of the game definitely not bad but i think it's the lack of checkpoints yeah well come on at least it's a challenge right number one and two aren't so bad There doesn't really seem to be a pattern to these themes, that's the problem, right? Sometimes they just seem to want to go off on their own accord.
Yeah, I know, I know. Well, hopefully, now that I know the level out, we might be all right. But to be fair, I'm intrigued. Okay, there's nothing up there. Number two. The tail seems to have a, <laughs> a bit of bad luck at the minute, right? You watch. He's, he... So it seems to fire. See what I mean? It's it's a bit random. Maybe there's a pattern to it, but Right, okay. No rings, but... At least we're at the final. Wish me luck.
I really hope this is the final boss, right? It's gotta be. It's not the final boss. Oh, you were kidding me. I don't believe that. I think it's probably better to avoid. Avoid any of the, uh, the enemies on the side then. After that point. Yeah, I'm just going to skip them. It's not worth it. Come on, come on. Tao's dying again. Surprise there. Actually, proper tense. <laughs> we're good, we're good. So that's the uh, final chaos, right? That was cool. Right, okay, so I am assuming this will be the final boss. And it's... <laughs> A bit more to it than that, right? Please tell me we continue from this act. I don't know if I can go back for all of that. Yeah, we're good. We're good. To be fair, Tails is saving the day though, right? He is collecting some of the rings before they get lost for good.
Nice. Always appreciate a checkpoint. Imagine, yeah, if I had gone back to Act 1, I probably would cry. I don't know if I can get back through all that again. I mean, they definitely upped the challenge by late game, you know. A lot of it is relatively straightforward. Yeah, that final stage. We can do this. Might take a few more attempts, but we're definitely going to do this. Yeah, I was starting to get worried about that, if it was going to be uh, some major glitch, but thankfully, that was all good. Good old tales. Now we're back to zero, great. figure out maybe at that point maybe I should just get out there completely if I can We've lost it. What is going on with the ring? We've lost it.
Eslo, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that on purpose. I'd rather just stick to the, the right-hand side. I'll move to the left if I need to avoid the, um, the lightning. on the right. We gonna get the ring? Yes. I'm gonna try it my way for this attempt on the right and I'll move back and forth if, if it doesn't work. Kidding me. No worries, you haven't missed too much, let's be honest. Right, come on, come on. Right, back left. Okay, we'll try something different. We'll try and jump back and forth between the left and right and see if that helps. Yeah, we're going to get there. We're going to get this done. I mean, we got this far. We're not going to give up at this point, are we? got no rings i'm not not really expecting much if i'm being completely honest let's just let's just lose our last life anyway well yeah i'm hoping it's infinite continues i mean it hasn't popped up yet that we've uh we're running low.
I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's quite a cool little series of bosses. Rather than just having one final end, you know, boss fight, the fact they kind of separated into sections is quite good. You didn't miss too much. <laughs> We're just never ending uh, losing uh, rings, basically. Maybe this will work better. Maybe uh, I should have done it in the first place. Right, okay, that'll come back down. Sped up a little bit. This is looking good. What was that here? Okay, okay, come on. Chase him down. Don't let him escape. Are we there? Are we done? Okay, may maybe I, I made that fight a little harder than it should have been. <laughs> but hey, we got it. That's it. Or is it? Apparently not. Be concerned. You go, Knuckles. Come on, get up, Sonic. We've got this far. We can do this. We're going to go Super Sonic. like that, is it?
Very good dodging my attacks though, right? As long as we've got enough rings, we shouldn't die here. That's a theory anyway. We good? I hope night night is kind of what the Why did he just do that in the first place? Oh you are kidding me. I think I just need to need to build some rings up for the minute. Close. But yeah, I I wasn't kind of expecting that. It's not the easiest thing to control either. Sonic seems to want to go in different directions. Let's try and use D pad to see if it makes any difference. Not really. I mean, the other thing, maybe I could kind of build up my um, my coins, sorry, rings in this area. Maybe that would help. But as long as we keep getting those hits in.
Come on, come on. Right, okay. Grab some rings while I can before he transforms. Because they do seem to take a lot off if he hits me. How are we doing? 50. Please, please tell me that is the final stage. Are you kidding me? At least it's a bigger target, I guess, but... Never come across a button mash, uh, a button masher in a Sonic game before, but I think that might be it. That better be it. <laughs> I can't take any more. Now I'm assuming there was one of the secret endings in there as well. Jeez, that was tough. That final level, it just yeah, it never, never stopped. Get well. I'm glad we've done it. It was good. It was good, but I was concerned I was going to die and have to redo all that. Well done, question mark. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I feel, Eric. Like... <laughs> no, that was a really cool game. I, I have to admit, I, I would love to know what the original game was like, though, in comparison to this. Cheers, everyone. I appreciate it. How we got there? It might have taken an hour longer than I thought it was, but I know I saved the world. We got every Chaos Emerald. We defeated the Mega Lord, Megazord, sorry, the Ultra Megazord, Metal Sonic. Lots. Yeah, I wanted to get the thing done. Thank you everyone. Do we unlock anything? I don't know how long this is going to go on for, but... There were only nine composers. So even though this was only made by one person, a lot of people kind of all uh, chimed in to get this made. I'm fine, Lance. I'm happy. Finally got <laughs> completed it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I was getting a bit frustrated by the end there, but it's all good. Does anyone have someone we can raid? We did get, kindly get raided by uh, Claire, Lightning Farron. I think we should raid someone else if they're streaming. The 8-bit game has weird physics. I'll have to give it a go. Well, what do you mean by weird physics? Raid the bedroom. Kirby approves. But do we have anyone on YouTube though, Eric? Yeah, I. We got over 30 likes today though. I appreciate everyone. It's like Sonic's jump height feels like he's zero in, in, in zero gravity. Fair play. I, I might just give it a go at some point just to just to compare. 
Let's have a quick look. I don't really have any one in my list, unfortunately. Oh, you can play as Knuckles, though. That's cool. And you can play as Knack. That's cool. I'll have to give that a go. Does anyone in the chat have anyone we could raid? Otherwise, I think I'm going to leave it there for tonight. Knack is the... I don't actually know what he is. He's like a, a raccoon or kangaroo type thing, isn't he? He's the purple character that was kind of like the uh, the boss of the game. You'd be doing Paper Mario right now if it was... you got bad weather at the minute. That's not good. No worries. If we don't have someone to raid, we're going to leave it there. I've got to be up really early tomorrow. We're going up to a, a, a theme park. So, thank you, everyone. Blair, thank you so much for raiding anyway. And uh, take care. See you again soon. I'll be back on Thursday. We're going to do Tetris. See you later. Bye.